All right, hey, it's Rob, and uh, here we go. It's Wednesday, October 9th. That means just about a month until the presidential election. Have you heard we're having a presidential election? I don't know. It's been on the news once or twice. Uh, we're about to have a hurricane today, so that's the big news. But uh, that doesn't look good at all for Florida. Anyway, so I'm here a month you know, out from the election, you know, early voting is starting soon to make my prediction. And my prediction is I think Kamala Harris is going to be able to do it. Now we've been looking at polls and the polls say she's up about three points, but the polls don't mean anything. All that means is she's going to win the popular vote, which we figure she's going to do anyway. But we don't know how, you know, the Electoral College is going to vote, what's going to happen in the swing states and all that. But I'm here to say I think, you know, we've got it in the bag. I think at the end of the day, there's going to be a groundswell of women who are going to come out and vote. In 2016, you know, Trump had momentum. He was like an alternative to the status quo. Hillary had a lot of baggage. You know, there was all sorts of stuff going back many years about her. And, uh, you know, he was able to pull it off once. And then he was impeached twice. And then he was sued multiple times. And now he's, you know, a convicted felon in the whole deal. So I think Trump's moment has come and gone. And, I, you know, I feel like on election day, you know, we're going to be surprised. We're going to see that it's a healthy margin, that it's kind of indisputable. She's going to get enough electoral votes to put her over the top, like I said, I think a lot of women are going to vote. They're going to vote early. They're going to vote often. And um, I think, you know, for all of Trump's noise and fury that signifies nothing and the rallies and everything else that goes on and all the drama, he has a vocal group of supporters. But like Michael Moore says, there are just more of us. There are just more people out there who want some reasonable person who has some experience in the office, which is why Joe Biden got elected. He was an actual politician who actually knew what he was doing. And, you know, he served his time. He served honorably. We know that, you know, it got to the point where we just didn't have confidence in him anymore. The big mistake Democrats made was we should have done this four years ago. And four years ago, Biden should have said, hey, Kamala is going to be my successor. She's getting all my support. She's going to be with me on every decision I make. And four years from now or whatever, when it's time to run again, you know, you're all going to vote for her. I'm going to, you know, head off into the sunset and that's going to be that. And they didn't do it, but uh, maybe because they didn't do it, there was a lot of excitement about Kamala entering the race and all that. So, uh, again, we're a month out. Anything could happen. I'm going to just put this video on ice and hang on to it. But uh, my prediction is she's going to be able to pull it off, that people are going to come out. They're going to want some reasonable person doing this job. We know Trump just makes a joke out of the office. He has no respect for the military. He has no respect, you know, for people in his administration. They come, they go, they get hired, they get fired, you know. He has these super offensive uh, ads out right now about how Kamala is for they, them, and Trump is for, you know, the rest of us. You know, I can't even believe these things are on the air. I mean, what if they substituted Jewish people, black people, Muslims, you know, Kamala is for black people, Kamala is for Muslims, Trump is for the rest of us. I mean, it's horrible. You have a protected class of people and... He's just sitting there, you know, just, you know, more dog whistles, more just, you know, thinly veiled, very thinly veiled, you know, racism, sexism, you name it. The same old song and dance. And I think people are tired of it. I sure hope they are. And uh, I feel like, uh, you know, she's going to be able to do it. Like I said, there's going to be a clear margin of victory and... I can't predict what's going to happen and if we're going to have political violence afterwards, and we probably will. But uh, anyway, Trump is no longer the president, so I don't know that he can really rally the people to, you know, a call to arms like he had done previously. He's just going to lose, and I will be happy to see him go. All right. Thanks for watching, and uh, later.